So often in our line of work, we are unable to do what we want to do. We don't always succeed, although we try so hard. And some of the things that help us succeed is when the public, when citizens, including little citizens, know what to do when they see something wrong. The first, line, the first way of saving any life when someone's in trouble is to dial what number? What number do you dial when you need help? 911, right? We dial 911. But by the time 911 gets there, it's a critical couple of minutes. And that can be the difference in saving a life or not saving a life. On June 29th in 2020, these families were on vacation. And as almost all parents know, keeping an eye on the kids is no easy task. And that particular day, when the parents were doing something else for safety, putting sunblock on kids, for a mere second, one child got out of their eye. And it happens too frequently. So Magnolia decided she wanted to become a swimming expert and wandered her way into the part of the pool while the parents were doing what parents do. And anyone who has kids know it can take just a split second. So fortunately, there was a little young man, a little hero in the pool named Holden. And he wasn't playing video games and he wasn't staring into the sun and he wasn't talking, he was just looking around paying attention. And he noticed that Magnolia was in trouble, serious trouble. She was in the water, she was not breathing. Holton immediately called the attention of the parents. The parents responded and they were able to get little Magnolia out of the water. They started CPR, mouth to mouth, activated the 911 system. So if it weren't for Holden, who knows what would have happened. But he was alert, he was awake, he paid attention, he covered for the parents, and a helicopter arrived after the paramedics did. Do you remember going for a helicopter ride? <laughs> and it was some very tense moments. Uh, when they got, when she got to the hospital, she was revived, resuscitated, and sent home the next day. A true wonderful story. So this is a wonderful opportunity for some public education as we start the summer season, as the weather, I guess it's gonna maybe warm up and we'll actually be able to go swimming soon, that there has to always be a parent who's the designated watcher. Maybe I'll do it for a half hour and then you've got the next half hour and then you've got it, but one parent or one adult who's sober, not distracted, no cell phones, no books. Their only job is to watch the kids, right? That's it. And it's a family affair. Everyone can be involved in doing that. And that is what we were talking earlier with some members, our friends from the media. If we have one message tonight, it is critical to make sure to ask the question, who's watching the kids? And if they are, you put your phone down, you put your book down, you're not, you've not been drinking, you've not been partying, you have one mission, and that's to watch the kids. It's a big deal. And we're so thankful to your families for being with us tonight to share this story.